Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the match here on WWE 2K22. This one, another first round match in our tournament of death here at St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Working from left to right, we have got Supreme, Josh Prohibition, Iceberg, and the Messiah here in a very XPW um, style match. So, without further ado, let's kick on. All right, then, of course, Fatal 4-Way Elimination Table Match, as all of the first-round matches have been. Uh, not sure if I'll continue on with this into the next round. The matches, are, they've not really been as entertaining as I hoped they were going to be. Um, that's the only way we can guarantee sort of hardcore wrestling, isn't it, really? That's the only problem with this at the moment. Uh, but, yeah, God, look at the size of these geezers. Iceberg is a big old lad, isn't he? He is a chunky boy. Uh, I've got no idea who's going to win. The problem is with these as well is that they seem to be a lot more random. Um, the ratings don't seem to matter too much on this at all. So uh, we have had some very, very random results so far in this tournament. People that are ranked very, very low are getting big, big victories. So, uh, yeah, who knows who's going to come out of this one on top. I think this might be four debutantes as well, to be honest. I'll have to have a check on the ranking system in a second. But I don't recall um, any of these really having many opportunities before. Which is good. Four new people on the rankings. We're getting closer and closer to that thousand mark. Getting closer and closer. And at the moment, so we've got uh, Messiah inside the ring. They're German suplexing Josh Prohibition, who uh, had a massive, massive portrait, didn't he, really? Whoever created that. But I can't really moan. Moan about other people's hard work when I'm just downloading them and using them. Oh, you're joking me. Has it gone? No, okay. Sorry, my screen went there for a second. I thought we'd lost the recording, but no. We are still going. We have a table inside the ring now. Josh Prohibition with it, just slamming it between the eyes of Supreme. So we had uh, XPW as a company, I think, shortly after... Well, I found out about it shortly after the demise of ECW. A lot of people like... New Jack and that sort of went there. That's where New Jack, if you ever watched the Dark Side of the Ring episode where New Jack tried to kill somebody, XPW was the company that happened in. That was Vic Grimes, who does not have a core available, which is a shame. A Supreme flattens Josh Prohibition there in the corner. And Supreme doing the worm. Not sure if that is on brand or not to be honest with you but either way he hit it the table is now being set up and supreme here looking for the first elimination my screen here is incredibly glitchy supreme big slam sending josh prohibition through the table and that's our first elimination Supreme is in the rankings. He has had a match before and lost it, but now that elimination puts him back up to a zero. Josh Pro... Okay, Josh Prohibition, that was his debut match and eliminated straight off the bat. So let's get him added onto the rankings. Josh Prohibition. I don't know if I'm spelling that right or anything, to be honest with you, but he's in. And he's down to a minus one straight off the bat. Boom, there we go. So we're down to a final three. Then Messiah, Iceberg. Let's check these. I don't think uh, Messiah, no. And Iceberg, no. Okay, so they're two brand new people in here as well. Let's get them both added onto the rankings. Messiah, Iceberg. There we go. They both enter the rankings. There's still quite a lot of people on the ranking system that have never made their debut. Something we'll have to try and fix at some point. As Iceberg. He, Iceberg's going to be a struggle to get through that table because he is a big lad to get up. And then Supreme just hits him with that big T-bone suplex. So there we go. There goes my uh, theory. Supreme with a big strikes into the gut and then brings the messiah out and drops him on the table of course the table is flat there though not going to put him through it supreme gets himself another table 
I don't know what's happening on my screen here at all. I keep losing vision, but it's not... I don't think it's affecting the recording, so hopefully we're okay there. Messiah now working over Iceberg on the outside. Supreme has a table in the middle. Supreme setting that table up. We haven't seen a single elimination outside the ring yet. Do you reckon that, like, these matches are not set to, like, false count anywhere for some reason? I'm literally losing so much of this match. I don't know what's going on. I'd have to uh, unplug and plug back in the Elgato after this because it is struggling. I think every now and again we get a little flicker on the recording by the looks of it, but literally I am losing um, large chunks of this match. I can't even see it. Messiah now back rake. On Supreme, in with a Russian leg sweep. I think if they were smart, though, they'd be looking to... Um, They'd be looking to try and eliminate Iceberg between them because he is a big lad, like I said. He is a big, chunky boy. Messiah now around the back of Supreme in with a sidewalk slam on the outside. Iceberg brings Supreme back up. Messiah gets him again. And it almost seems like... Um, well, I don't know what's happened to the back of Supreme's head. That looks horrific. Whatever whatever the hell that is on there. Look at Iceberg just like throwing, throwing Messiah via the neck. Iceberg re-enters the ring. Iceberg looks pretty cool, actually. He looks like the most realistic looking one out of a lot of them. Whether that's true or not, I've got no idea. I can't remember what any of these look like, to be honest. But he looks like the most realistic core out of the lot. been a long time since the last elimination. These guys... Oh, that looks horrific. It looks like he's got real horrific burns on him. I think it's just the face scan's got a bit of a weird texture on the back of it, but it does look horrific, I must say. Iceberg, why is he just getting in the ring, just taking a breather? Allowing the other guys to absolutely tire each other out. Iceberg now comes back to the outside. Big strike and the head of Supreme now brings him back up to a standing base and in with that sh short suplex. Come on, guys. Get in the bloody ring. It's a problem with this game. They do this a lot. They just fight on the outside rather than... Oh, there we go. They are back in the ring. Iceberg and the Messiah. Iceberg fights the Messiah away. Supreme now dragging Iceberg towards the table looking to get his second elimination. Iceberg having none of it. He sends Supreme into the table and Iceberg. German suplexes Supreme through the table. Iceberg with the elimination goes up to a plus one and Supreme is going to be dropping back down to a minus one. Masai brings the table into the ring now and goes straight after Iceberg. But to be honest, not much point. Unless the table's there, you're just wasting energy here. And again, another inverted Death Valley driver on to the table. There's now Messiah choking the grounded iceberg. There's the big strikes into the face. On Iceberg been busted open with those strikes as now Messiah looking to set that table up. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a very David versus Goliath situation here. The Messiah and Iceberg. Messiah dragging Iceberg, but Iceberg having none of it. There's the elbows into the gut. Maybe Iceberg should join Earthquake and Typhoon as a trio. And the Hurricane. Oh, what a fatal four-way. Iceberg... Hurricane, Earthquake, Typhoon. The natural disasters. As the Messiah about to... Oh, the Messiah was trying to... Well, catch Iceberg there. Iceberg saw it coming. Now, though, Iceberg sent into the table by Messiah. Is this going to be the end? No, again. Iceberg fights back with the elbow. 
Iceberg now sending Masai into the table and Iceberg has got him in the German suplex. He does it. Iceberg, two eliminations and the win. The big man is going through to the semi-finals on his debut. What a win. What a freaking win. But the big man goes up to a plus three. The Messiah with the loss drops down to a minus one on his debut. And it's Iceberg who moves on, joining uh, many people. Uh, I think we're going to do... I don't know yet. I might reorganize the quarterfinals to um, to better matches. I'm not sure yet. Whether I'll just leave them as they are. Because I've sort of just been putting them into the quarterfinals in the order they qualify. Which means at the moment we've got Sammy Callahan, Pagano, New Jack and Mr. Pogo. Then we've got Sick Nick, Mondo, Masato, Tanaka, Danny, Hanek, uh, Danny Havoc and Heidenreich. This one is Jimmy Havoc, Iceberg, Crowbar and then the winner of... Uh, our match later on tonight, which is number 12, which will be uh, Abdullah the Butcher, Bruiser Brody, Leatherface, or Brain Damage. Uh, I don't know. I might reorganize. I'm not sure yet. But at the moment, that's the plan. That is number 11 into the quarterfinals. Five more places left. Like I said, we've got Abdullah the Butcher, Bruiser Brody, Leatherface, and Brain Damage. Uh, tomorrow, we've got DJ Hyde, Matt Tremont, Nick Gage, and Zandig. Then we'll have Cactus Jack, Terry Funk, at Sushi Onita, and Hayabusa. Then the day after that, we've got John Wayne, Murdoch, Ricky Shane Page, Schlack, and Mance Warner. And the final match will be Junkazai, Abdullah Kobayashi, Jackie Numazawa, and Thumbtack Jack. Right, well, love you and leave you. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have, hit the like, subscribe. There we good stuff. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.